I was never afraid of death. After all, it lasts forever. You can try to avoid it. You can try to delay it. You can even fight it. And in the end, one thing is certain, it will happen. But love, love is another matter. The usual business meeting, that's all it was. So my day began like any other day. Okay, maybe things weren't so simple. Like I said, it was a meeting. But I never expected her. girlfriend. It ended badly. Real bad. I couldn't believe she brought a young gun from Gibraltar. My punk was more British than the Brits. Greetings. You have quite the credentials. Pleasure to finally meet you. All right, you two. Enough with this testosterone. I thought this was supposed to be our soiree. It is. But you know the saying. Safety first. Be a good boy, will you? You know I could never refuse you. Chase, he's a collector. There's bound to be toys everywhere. Knowing Marcus, you'll need a U-Haul. What are you doing? I'll check the other room. I never meant to hurt you, okay? And I'd never want to. But you still don't forgive me? Should I? You still don't get it, do you? You know how much it hurt to be the other woman? And she didn't even want you. So you and him? <laughs> oh, please. After you, I give up on men. Done. Place is the same. <laughs> I 
thought this was supposed to be a soiree. Well, like you said, safety first. You are a diligent pack rat. What can I say? I'm a collector. Some call it a bad habit. Yeah, but it confirms a rumor. Which one? You have an overactive defense mechanism. Rookies always make the same mistake. Is it true? You lie, your eyes, they fail you. They try to push a button, thinking it makes them a big shot. The disappearance of your true love. Plays Bad move. No. All right, you know, let's just, let's just skip the therapy session and relax. I need a drink. Eh? Sure, why not? We're all friends. What is that? Why? From where? Napa Valley. Relax, relax. Salute. Yeah, I think not. Not, not good enough? No, no, Napa's fine. It's poison I don't like. It's a terrible way to die. Mm. Especially something slow acting. And you think I'm overly defensive? You brought that with you? This is a special occasion. May I present a 1988 Chateau Nuit Vage Poyac. Sounds Frenchy. Yes. It all comes down to experience. Knowing when to make your move. Or more importantly, when to wait. Otherwise, it's over. It's very rare. The vintner doesn't make it anymore. At least, not since I killed him. You first. Oh my god, you two are ridiculous. Poison this, poison that, it's just wine. Drink already. You're joking, right? It needs to breathe. What happens now? We wait. Like I said, I was never afraid of death. After all, it pays the bills. Stay. There's my girl. How oh, are you, baby? Oh, you look gorgeous. You too, Eli. Mm. You're looking good. I try. Hello, Chase. Get up. Three years. You don't call, you don't write. I meant to. It's good to see you. How you feeling? I heard some rumors. Oh, they're wildly exaggerated. A hard thing. I had what you call a cardiac event. But I'll be fine as long as I take my pills, eat right, brush my teeth twice a day, stuff like that. What pills? I can't pronounce it either. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm glad you're still with us. Yeah, me too. If you asked me 25 years ago where I'd be, I'd stay in a villa someplace of an 18, nice little nest egg. Ain't the case. You putting money away? Yes, Eli. Because you see, this job doesn't exactly have a pension plan. 10% after each job, just like you always said. 10%? That's not enough. Come on. Clothes, hair, makeup, all that costs money. What about you? Me? Yeah, you. Economics. Don't they teach that across the park? Yeah, they do. 
Percentages aside, I am diversified. Stocks, bullion, and lots of cash. That's very good. That's a smart boy. You could learn something from him. Whatever. Which brings us to you, Marcus. Some people think they're beyond learning. Is that true? I don't know. For me, when you stop, you die. That's good. See, it gives me faith that maybe things aren't quite as bad as they seem. Well, it depends on your definition of bad. They're as bad as they can get. You know, maybe some things just aren't what they used to be. You know, I took you under my wing when you were 15 years old, you when you were 17. Nothing is like it used to be, Marcus. You look at me when I'm talking to you. You do know why we're here, don't you? I hope it has something to do with the final payment. You know, that, uh, I don't appreciate the way I've been treated so far. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you can forget about your payment and your feelings. Reputations are on the line here. Our thinking was that we could talk some sense into you. Even if there's nothing to say. Well, then just consider it a family reunion, except for you. No offense. Well, you know, I never got along with my family, Eli. Look, the man upstairs is none too happy. You have a problem, which became my problem, which is becoming his problem, which makes an even bigger problem for you. Well, you know what they say flows downhill. Do you have any idea what trouble you've caused? What trouble? Just tell me what happened. Well, it began as it usually does. This time it was Singapore. For Jonas Barrett and his wife. Penguins. That's what we look like. Penguins. Why men must dress this way is beyond me. Now, Jonas, this is for a good cause. You are helping hundreds of children. This is important to me. Here, let me. I'm a grown man. I can handle it. Okay, but you've got only 30 minutes. Very funny. Eva, be a dear and fetch my Rolex. I believe I left it in the study downstairs. Fine, but if that ties up perfect when I come by, I'd be ready to pay the price. <laughs> Which is? Um, another million dollars to the charity. <laughs> Not if I can help it. Idiotic penguins, that's all. Look, I know what the arrangement was. It only looks like I've taken the money. That's all. So inform your boss everything will be OK. Sometimes these things take time. Listen, my wife's got me mixed up in some stupid charity thing. So tell him there's an opportunity to make money off of it, big money. I can change things around. 
Tell you what. Whatever he's paying you, I'll pay double. Hell, I'll triple it. What do you say? Jonas? You are genuine about the charity, aren't you? I really hope that some good comes out of all this. That's it? What do you mean, that's everything? The cleaners say the count was wrong. I shot twice. What more can I tell you? There's only one body. We're missing a body. How could you be so calm? It's rule one. No loose ends. The contract was for two. Do you realize how dangerous this is? Because you see, I am all that stands between you and Hell's fury. The man wants you dead so many ways I can't count. I've done what needed to be done. You took the contract. You took the two shots. You took the money. Only a small retainer. Where's the rest? You know the rules. Payment upon completion. Well, then consider it completed. Where is the rest? I need to be paid. Would you listen to yourself? Just stop for a minute. What the hell is going through your head? The man is going to rain fire and brimstone on you. Fire and brimstone. You believe in hell? What? I don't know. Do you? Only the one we create. Oh my God. Marcus has developed a conscience. Is that true? How long have we known each other? There are no loose ends. Except in this case, there appears to be one, and that's risky. It can ruin reputations. I understand that. And that's the only thing we have. Right? Listen, if this has become a problem for any reason, that's fine. I can square things with the man. Just tell me exactly what went down, and we'll take care of it. Otherwise, it'll end badly. This is bollocks, Eli. Shut up, Chase. Tenderize him a bit. Loosen his tongue. Is this what you want? What are you thinking, Chase? Something classic. Like a 19th century 95th rifle's bloodletting. Scarificator would be useful, but I suppose we can improvise. With incisions along the inner thigh, the victim slowly bleeds, just lingering at the edge. But he does get talkative. So what's it gonna be? I need to be paid. That's too bad, then. Who the bloody hell is that? You expecting anyone else? No, just us. Well, they have come to the wrong party. There's a waiter. Hi there. Wrong room. Hold on. I ordered it. Think about it, Eli. Why would I still be here if I didn't finish the job? Huh? 
It's just a meal. It's like old times. Put him in. Good evening, sir. Am I Audi? Not at all. Come inside. I don't mean to sell you up. No, really, that's not necessary. Don't listen to him. He thinks he's British. Please. Citrus, spicy hot pot with beef and uh, sea cucumber, uh, tofu, lobster, chicken feet. Yeah, who prepared it? The chef, sir. You saw him make it? No. And did anyone else go near it? Uh, only me. And never left your sight? No. Taste it. Excuse me, sir? I said, would you taste it, please? But Please excuse my friend's odd behavior. He's a bit particular when it comes to uh, food and wine. You can never be too sure. I suppose not. The wine, oh yes. I was on me, yeah. She was uh, fine, Yes, yeah, okay, no, that's fine, don't worry. Oh, Jolly good. Check. Hold on. Where do you think you're going? For my wallet. I'm gonna tip the guy. Allow me. Ken, isn't it? Tell me when it's enough. Enjoy. Cordelia, may I have a word with you, please? What? I prefer to kill than eat. Is this a Gibraltar thing? No, it's a professional thing. Would a bullfighter kill on a full stomach? He needs to be hungry. Well, good for the bullfighter, but I can't think when I'm starving. It'll taste better afterwards. It really will. Eli, what do you think? Weed or what? Yeah, let's see. The mayor's not calling until 10. I've got some time. Marcus, this is beautiful. Looks like you've ordered well. Uh, thank you. Most of the usual stuff with a couple of new things. Yeah, to think all you ever got me was Chinese takeout. <clears throat> what the hell's wrong with you? What's going on? Those two have been involved in a pissing match, like, since, since we got here. All right, just come on. Sit down. Don't think, just eat. So what's the theory here? I cook my own food, and that way it's safe, right? <sighs> all right, look. We got off on the wrong foot, all right? You ever had hot pot before? Chinese say only the real man can handle the heat. It's good. I want you to try this sea cucumber. It's a delicacy. It's good. It doesn't, it doesn't taste as bad as it sounds. Mm. Now you're gonna let it sit for a while, 
make sure uh, it cooks really well, gets all the juices in there. You're going to like it. Thank you. Fearless eater, I like that. Good? Man, that reminds me of, um, hey, Eli, what was that, um, what that Malaysian job we did? What was that guy's name? Malaysia, that was, uh, that was Gavin, right? <laughs> Gavin, Gavin. <laughs> that guy would eat anything. Crazy. I mean, if it didn't crawl away, he'd put it on his plate. But what the crazy, crazy thing was, uh, was a concoction we used, a compound, um, God, what are we? What was that called? Malacca freeze. Yeah, right. <laughs> the Malacca <laughs> freeze. Now that's yeah. what it was called. It Malacca in Greek means asshole. So yeah. you get it. <laughs> really, really nice lace. Move quick, fast. You know what happens is it takes your face and turns it into an asshole. You start sweating. Your esophagus closes up. And once your mouth starts tingling, you know, it's over with. Good night, Irene. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. You need to put that in your uh, in your bag. Take that one out. Those mushrooms are outstanding. <laughs> all right, Marcus, come on. Chase, you're all right. It's not called Sichuan spicy hot pot soup for nothing. Your mouth is supposed to go numb. Really good. Wanna play? Let's play. And everybody calm down. If there's any dying tonight, I'll decide who. Let's sit down. You could be a real dickhead sometimes. Look, listen, I'm sorry. Apologize. Bad joke. Bad timing. Sorry. Am I the only one here who remembers why we're here? Hmm? It's really good seeing you guys. It's been a long time. Of course it is. So, Eli, what's the secret to a long career? Simple, don't get killed. You make it sound effortless. I said it was simple, not easy. And have you ever been at the edge? Come on, home. Maybe later. Well, I still can't shake Terra Hot. It was one of my first solos. Yeah, it was supposed to be a snap. Literally down a flight of stairs, broken neck. Make it look like an accident. Anyways, the setting was perfect. A third floor walk up, steep stairs, narrow passage. Just right for a little push and tumble. After all, Big Ben was becoming a threat, muscling in on other people's business. That wouldn't do for those higher up the food chain. So he had to be stopped. Who sent you? said who sent you have it your way no. that wasn't very ladylike such a cute little thing i asked who sent you 
Nice try, sugar. You overestimated yourself. Shame, too. You're a bit of a looker. <laughs> You know what, darling? I've got a sweet tooth. And I can never get enough candy. Candy always comes in such pretty wrappers. Oh, shh. Don't worry, sugar. I won't let you live. Next thing I know, I'm staring into Never Never Land. So, what happened? A white knight appeared. Sort of. Lacking in finesse, if you ask me. Lacking finesse? Yeah, you're just lucky Eli had me shadow you. Oh, please. I could have taken care of it myself. Yeah, you're so green. Oh, my God. Like you weren't once? Or have you forgotten your first overseas job? That guy in Wales? <sighs> yeah, whatever. It was supposed to look like a car accident. It was big. Really big. Mm -hmm. Ate too much. Sure. The story, 
Never use a Suzuki to do the job of a Mercedes. The funny thing is, if the fool would have just stayed down after the first hit, Marcus probably would have driven away. You always seem to forget to confirm the kill. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Eli, come on. The past and I don't get along. Then allow me. It all began here, not no. long. Macau. What happened in Macau? Bye, Macau. Eli has to dust this guy named Tai Lung. Big dragon. Real pain in the ass. A message. The deal is only to deliver a strong message. If we're going to tell it, get the facts straight. OK. I was supposed to pay Tai Lung an unannounced visit to talk. Now, if he didn't like our talk, I negotiate firmly. those terms. So what's it going to be? I should send a message back. They used me like a bloody action sketch. I woke up three weeks later in the hospital. was a pain in the ass. I had enough transfusions to fill five bodies, but I did learn some new skills. Suffering makes life seem ultimately worthwhile. Times like that can give you pause. So how do you handle it? Why, are you having a problem? I work out like a fiend to get it out of my system. But, you know, sometimes... I've been doing a lot of Qigong. Really? Yeah. Something wrong with that? No. 
Does it help? It's a breathing exercise. It uh, promotes self-healing, keeps you centered and balanced. Does it mean you're turning vegetarian? No. I try to eat right. <laughs> I don't even know who you are anymore. So no more ballpark steaks. Don't eat meat anymore. I don't think it's right to kill such a large living creature for food. Mencius said we can eat any creature whose back faces the sky. So now suddenly you know Chinese philosophy. And here I thought you were just a hottie from Gibraltar. Yep. Fish, poultry, and vegetables. That's my future. I'm trying to stay open to new ideas. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's time for new ideas. Like what? Get out? Yeah, I don't think so. You're standing in the twilight, aren't you? Is that an American expression? No. But Marcus here is caught between the bright light of civilian life and the darkness in which we thrive. Yeah, well, here we are. But you, my friend, are going to have to adjust to one simple truth. You will always remain in the darkness. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So what's your story? You've been pretty tight-lipped. Forgive me, I feel a little, um, what's the expression? Out in left pitch. Feel. Pardon? Expression, it's you feel like you're out in left field. Right, I feel like I'm out in left field. Perhaps not even in the park. Well, there's no reason to feel that way. You all know each other so well. Yeah, that's all right. You'll get your stories, it'll come. Oh, no, I, I'll have a story in about, um, 45 minutes. What do you got there? P14? Carry Glock 20, 31. 44 minutes, 45 seconds. You know, I know, I know what you like. You like it up close and personal, hand-to-hand -hand combat. You probably enjoy a SOG fat cat, huh? Shoes. Shoes? Shoes. Yeah. Where'd you find this guy? He can kill with anything, but when it comes to being ready, being prepared, nothing beats a superb pair of shoes. I've lost count of how many pairs I've gone through. It is a shame to toss them out each time. Forget the feet and the body will fall. You, you do throw away your shoes after each shot, right? Naturally. And I always pick the right tool for the job. Naturally. Damn it. Great. Here. Thanks. Uh, get some more. Here, let me help. That's no, okay, I got it. Like you said, I wouldn't want anything to happen to us either. I always count the silverware. I know. You can't blame a guy for trying. Please, don't flatter yourself. What is your problem? What's my problem? Yeah, what's your problem? Huh? It's two years. Get over it. How many times do you want me to apologize? If you think all of this is because I want an apology, you're sadly mistaken. You know, I wake up one morning, and you're gone. You didn't write to me. You didn't say anything. You just took off. What am I supposed to do with that? Huh? And then you say, I have the problem? All I ever wanted from you was the truth. To be a man and fess up. And you couldn't even do that. You just left me there. Is that all I meant to you? You gotta move on. What's going on with you two? It's private. I thought there were no secrets between you. Eli. I said it's private. And it's gonna stay that way. I 
So what am I going to do with you? You see, this thing has to be resolved. something more, right? It's got to stop sometime. Then when you finish a job, you get to go home. You got someone. So are you playing with me now? Is that what's going on here? I messed up. I messed up bad. I gotta get out. I can't do it anymore. Well, you see, the problem is you've let a target live. I mean, you said, you said you, you said you could talk to the man, right? I mean, make this thing go away. No. You straighten them out. You call them off. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I need your help. You've got about 20 minutes of life left. What do you want to talk about? After all these years, this is how it ends. It's not my doing. Chase, why don't you set up shop? Take a look at these. Let's play Hemingway. Six words and only six. It's supposed to be my epitaph? No. Just think of it like a tiny memoir, a little summary of life. You want to play, let's play. You first. Oh, no, dear. You're the guest of honor. In that case, I'll go with them. Um, it all comes down to this. It's yours. For sale. Baby shoes, never worn. What about you, Eli? 
I'm gonna have to go with still making the coffee for two. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I didn't know. When did it happen? About two years ago. You know, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. How? She had cancer. It was really hard watching her wither away to nothing. It was tough. My baby. So how you feeling? Doctor says you're doing good. You all right? Listen, I brought you something. Picked out a couple of pictures I thought you might like. Remember that? That's my beautiful girl. That Dana boat. And I brought you this. That's me, just in case you forgot what I look like. Eli. That's nice. I really need you to come home. Okay? It's just, I don't know what to do without you. I'm just kind of bumping around the house by myself. I love you so much. I know. I just I'm gonna come back and, and, and get you real soon, okay? We're gonna bring you home. Just think about that. Just take care of yourself. That's, that's my girl. That's my beautiful girl. That's my baby. All that suffering and still she was grateful. I really don't know how I don't know how she did it. I don't think I could have. She was a real fighter. The funny thing is, I still, I wake up in the morning, I still make coffee for the two of us. I guess love does that to a person. Makes them feel Makes him lost. Makes him do things they wouldn't ordinarily do. Right, Marcus? It's her, isn't it? New hair, new look, new life. After all these years of looking, you found her again. Isn't that right, Marcus?
Okay, let's try this again. We know she's still out there, which isn't good for anyone, especially you. Now tell us where she is. I thought Jonas Barrow was the target. He's gone, why does it matter? You don't need to know why, none of us do. We fulfill contracts. She won't do anyone any harm. Now how can a man believe that? He can take my word for it. I applaud your self-inflicted misery. However... Jonas? You are genuine about the charity, aren't you? I really hope that some good comes out of all this. Marcus? I was never afraid of death. After all, it lasts forever. You can try to avoid it. You can try to delay it. You can even fight it. for the man. For what then? We wait. For what? We we'll wait for him to come to. To what? To talk to him? We still have time. We haven't gotten a call yet. But it's just more of the same bullshit. Have you heard that stress is on the rise in the workplace? Are you having a laugh? I just think people should slow down. You need to slow down. Slows for the elderly, mate. Slow, eh? I'm gonna make you happy. Happiness is a byproduct of satisfying work. Okay. And you call waiting around like an absolute idiot satisfying. All right. That's enough. Go search the bedroom. There's gotta be some clue where she's hiding. Go do it. Zero. What do you mean, zero? No cryptic notes, no airline tickets, no passports, nothing, just this. I won't get him far. So what now? I'm sorry, but I did pay the gratuity. 
Should we check the other rooms again? No, he's too smart for that. It'd slow him down if he had to run. It's either with his stuff on him or in his head. Maybe he'll talk now. It's about time. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, you're so stubborn! You're really becoming a problem, Marcus. This rebellious streak, I thought it was corrected a long time ago. We all do what we have to do. Yeah. This is about to get ugly. Enough already. He did this, you did that, the past, the present, going on and on and on. The three of you, you're driving me mental. I'm sick of this bullshit. What's your big idea? He doesn't want to talk? OK. Maybe he isn't afraid of death. Fine. What about pain? Let's see how you get on with parts missing. Look, I want to find her as bad as you do. Then get out of my way. There's no need to get sloppy. Who are you to talk? Now move! Put it down. I think you're my. Stay there! Peter! Stay! If you don't care about your life, maybe you'll add one more to this stupid list of ones you do. Get him the pills. Get him the pills! What'll it be, mate? Schedule! Give him the drugs. You know, that's not what I was looking for. Should we try again? <laughs> Give it to her! You son of a bitch! <laughs> do now? Yell at me. Oh. Look at you. You're pathetic. Retirement suits you. It's too bad you won't make it. Now, for the final time, where is she? You're just a corpse waiting to die.
Angel watches over you. Hello? Yes, sir, he's here right now. No, he refuses to talk. I understand that's a disappointment to you. I'm sorry, sir, but Eli is, um, unavailable. He and Cordelia are gone. No, they won't be coming back anytime soon. I see. Consider it done. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. Call me back in ten minutes and I shall provide the details. Well, whew. that was good news. Why? Was it? I'm called off. The man's grown tired of all this. Your damsel in distress gets to live. With one minor caveat. I had to send you back to Gibraltar in a box. There's a balance due, mate, and you have to pay it. That's good. How much? Bloody everything. Piece by piece. And the best part, I keep all the contract money. <laughs> You were right, Eli, mate. Happiness is satisfying work. And now, I bid you farewell.
was foolish. Help me up, will you? Sit down. I still need him. I just got lucky this time. You know, by you not finishing that job and going off with her, I'm as good as dead. You knew that. And you were going to let it happen. That's very disappointing, Marcus. This isn't for all the chips. It's got to be you or her. And there's no getting around that. So for the last time, tell me where she is. You know the answer. You and I both know she didn't care about you then, and she doesn't give a shit about you now. You're wrong. He told her what you did for a living. Nadine never knew. That's the difference. Unidentified Caucasian woman found floating in Victoria Harbor. Hong Kong authorities ruled it death by misadventure. Okay. out here before I change my mind. He's not gonna buy it. I guess that's my problem now, isn't it? Go. Go on, Marcus.
Everything's fine. You're not gonna bother us anymore. I was never afraid of death. After all, it lasts forever. But love? Just one moment is all I want. 